Next Guest has been working tirelessly to raise awareness around sickle cell disease and advocate for better and more accessible medical treatment. Please welcome the founder and president of the Sickle Cell Awareness Group of Ontario, Lanry Tunji Ajayi. Hey, Lanry. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm Thank so, you. I'm so honored to meet you. And, and before we get into it, can you, can you tell us what what sickle cell disease is? Because not everybody knows. You're so, tr you're, you're so right. Mm -hmm. Sickle cell disease is a blood disorder. Mm -hmm. It affects the red blood cells. Mm -hmm. You have to inherit it. Mm -hmm. And so, people with ancestry from Africa, Mediterranean, mm -hmm. Middle East, mm -hmm. um, India, mm -hmm. South Asia, mm -hmm. um, do have sickle cell disease, but mm -hmm. it predominantly affects people that identify as black. Yeah, yeah. Mostly. And essentially what it is is your your red blood cells are, are a different shape. Exactly. Yeah. So for many of us, mm -hmm. um, our hemoglobin, mm -hmm. the red blood cells, mm -hmm. is round mm -hmm. shaped mm -hmm. and that allows oxygen to pass through and go to all the parts of the body. Yeah. With those that have sickle cell, the red blood cell mm -hmm. is sickle shaped. Okay. And yeah. so there's reduced oxygen and that affects every organ of the body. Yeah. And so it causes a lot of complications, including stroke, mm -hmm. uh, premature death as mm -hmm. well, right? Mm -hmm. Like damage to liver, the kidney, any organ of the body. Yeah. Because oxygen is not enough in the red blood cells. Yeah. And so there is a lot of constriction when it's going through all the arteries and the, you know, like when it's flowing. Through your, your body. body. Yeah. Yes. So you are doing such important work advocating for sickle cell patients and making sure they get equitable health care and have access to that health care. Yes. So what can you tell us about um, how you started in your advocacy for this disease? So for me, I was born in a family mm -hmm. um, that's very affected by sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. I myself don't have the disease mm -hmm. and I don't have the trait either. Mm -hmm. um, but my brother who, um, had sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. And I also have a sister that's also still living with sickle cell disease. Yeah. My brother died from sickle cell complications at the age of 30 wow. in 1998. Yeah. And and that is what made me think about, okay, he died from preventable complications. Yeah. We need to work hard to ensure that we don't keep losing our young people yeah. to preventable complications. And that started with, for me, was awareness. Yeah. First, raise awareness. Mm -hmm. Let people know about the disease. Because mm -hmm. you find that about 95% of people that have children with sickle cell disease mm -hmm. don't even know mm -hmm. that they carry the gene themselves. Oh, wow. So there's lack of awareness because being a sickle cell trait mm -hmm. carrier, like mm -hmm. being a carrier of one copy of the sickle cell gene, mm -hmm. you're very asymptomatic most of the time. Yeah. And yeah. so people just marry or have babies and not thinking that I might have sickle cell traits. So let's raise awareness. It's honestly, it's amazing seeing the work that you're doing. Thank you. And I think it's such a, it's true. You need to raise the awareness. And we were just discussing, there have been, um, there have been uh, breakthroughs in sickle cell treatment um, with, with CRISPR and, and, and different kind of scientific breakthroughs, um, but they're not yet approved. So I know you do a lot of work with the government too, trying to get treatments approved yes. that works for people to, that improves their quality of life and the length of their life. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, like you said, there are definitely two new um, uh, cure yeah. therapies right now for sickle cell disease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of work that yeah. needs to be done yeah. to get this cure approved. I know some people talk about the cost. Yeah. So um, it's about two to three million per person. But wow. it might seem expensive. Yeah. But when you look at the lifetime cost of living with sickle cell disease, yeah. it's much cheaper. Yeah to have it covered. Yes. So it's very important it really, to really note is. that. It really is. Yes. Now, March 5th is a is a day of action yes. for, for your organization. So what are you hoping for and how can people help? So like we talk about awareness, right? So through the work that we've done, mm -hmm. we have helped to, um, in line with United Nations, yeah. um, recognizing June 19 mm -hmm. as, you know, what's the Cell Day in Canada, mm -hmm. we have helped to enact that as law mm -hmm. at 
federal level and mm -hmm. also in Ontario. Yeah. But we still have to be in the face of policymakers. Yeah. We also want to celebrate some of the achievements that we have, you know, experienced in sickle cell. Yeah. So on March 5th, we will be at Queen's Park mm -hmm. and we will be, of course, celebrating our achievements. But we also want to make sure that newborn screening Ontario mm -hmm. let parents know mm -hmm. If their babies are born with sickle cell trait. Yes. Currently, if the baby has a disease, mm -hmm. they will let the parents know. Yeah. But again, I mentioned earlier, many people that have children with sickle cell disease don't themselves know. have the trait and they don't know. Yeah. So if our system mm -hmm. is still not telling us about babies that have the trait, then we're still failing. Yeah. So we want the members of provincial parliament mm -hmm. to tell the Minister of Health that. We need to do this. We need to make sure Disclose. that babies mm -hmm. born with sickle cell trait mm -hmm. are disclosed to their families yes. for education purposes. It's not a disease. No. You have to pair that with counseling. Totally. And that's what we need to do. So that's what we're happening on March 5th. Yes. And for those who are in the audience or anyone watching that wants to be part of our reception event, mm -hmm. it's at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. If you go on our website, you can register and join us to celebrate. That's fantastic. Lamry, thank you so, so much for all of the work you're doing. It's so, you. so vital. Thank you for and thank me. you for sharing your story with us today. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for having that me. That is our show for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for more of the good stuff. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.